Welcome to Electron Online and now we're going to take a look at the hyperbolas which have been offset. With other words, the center is no longer at the origin. So the general equation for a horizontally oriented hyperbola, but you know, what do we mean by horizontally? We mean the transverse axis is horizontal, so that it opens up this way. If it's offset, you can see that the general equation now becomes x minus h quantity square over a square minus y minus k quantity squared over b squared equals 1. So it's offset by hk, with other words, the center of the hyperbola will now be located at hk. If it's a parabola, or I keep saying parabola, I mean hyperbola, if it's a hyperbola that opens up this way and this way, with the transverse axis going in a vertical direction, then we can see that it's y minus k and x minus h. Notice that the x and y have been interchanged, but also notice that the k is always associated with the y variable and the h is always associated with the x variable because when we put down the point where the center of the hyperbola is, it's always labeled as hk and hk. All right, now, the next thing we want to do is want to draw that box again. Then we realize that the vertices are going to be on this axis right here, on the horizontal axis, and so the vertices are going to be found over here at h plus a and k for y and over here at h let's see where do i put it i'll put it over here h minus a and k so those are the coordinates of the vertices then in the vertical direction over here you're going to find the point h and k plus b and over here down here you're going to find the point h and k minus b and then you go ahead and draw the box like so and then of course you're going to draw the lines that are going from corner to corner so this is our first line right there corner to corner and through the center hk and again over here corner to corner and through the center hk up, up, i'm off a little bit here let me try that again so the corner is right there, so I want to go to the corner. There we go. All right. And we know that the hyperbola is going to be drawn like this. They have, the hyperbolas have to go to the vertices, so then you can draw the line like that. Okay. And same over here. Like that. And like that. That's how we draw the hyperbola if it's directed in such a way that the transverse axis is horizontal. All right. Now let's do the vertical type, okay? Again, we're going to need the box, we need to find the points. Remember, the vertices are going to be on the vertical axis right here. So they're going to be on H plus A. A is associated with the vertice and with the Y axis in this case. So we pick a point right there. So this will be H plus A and K for the, whoa, whoa, that's not correct. I'll take that back. The X value doesn't change, that's A, but the Y value is K plus A. And over down here, so we have the, the x value is still h, but the y value will be k minus a. All right, now, in the horizontal direction, the, the two points that will not touch the hyperbola, but will be used to direct the orientation of hyperbola and know how to draw it. So here we have the point that would be the point h plus b and k for the y value. And over here we have the point that would be h minus b and the k value because that will of course be in the x direction all right so now we draw our rectangle or square whatever it may be most of the time it's a rectangle like so and now we go ahead and draw the lines from corner to the center to the other corner like this and over here to the corner the center and the corner this way now we know that the hyperbola is going to open up like this these are the vertices, and we know that we stay within bounds of those two lines right there. So we we'll look at this, and like this here, and over here, it'll look like this, and like that. So that will be the way you draw your hyperbola in that case. So all we have to do is find the centers, then find the offset in the y direction, find the offset in the x direction. Remember, in the x direction will be a, so it's h plus a and h minus a in the horizontal direction. It'll be k plus b and k minus b in the vertical direction. Over here, things are reversed. So we take the center here and it'll be h and k plus a and h and k minus a. And then of course, in the horizontal direction, it'll be h plus b and h minus b 
where k stays the same because that's the y value there does not change. And that's how we deal with hyperbolas that have been offset from the center by the amount h and k. And that's an indicator to be the center of the hyperbola. In the next video, we'll do some examples of this so you can see how we actually graph them. And of course, sometimes we don't get the equation in this perfect form. You may need to manipulate algebraic a little bit until it looks like that so you can actually graph it. So I'll show you some examples on how to do that.